Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 3 of Compassions Will Be Dispatched. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the fuck happened today. <laughs> With our um, band of misfits. That face, so. Oh my god. <laughs> and something tells me he or she is possibly going to make an appearance in this episode, right? fucking bruise. A what? <gasps> it just looks like a bug bite. Uh oh. Okay, so Alice saved you. I don't think so. <laughs> Is your brother high? The more and more I listen to this song, it sounds like, okay, because still, I can't believe this shit. Um, Miku Seiyu, <laughs> from Quintessential, plays a character I don't like in a series because her band is annoying as fuck, and this person's voice literally sounds like her. So it wouldn't surprise me, because, yeah, you know what, yeah, we're, when I'm done with this episode and Sean McCain, because I'm going to watch those two back to back, we're going to find out who the fuck's singing that song. Mm-hmm. The right way to clear a tower. Is there a wrong way? No, oh, is that a centipede? Mm. Did I just say centipede? I meant like a mantis, but it looked gross. What? Oh, it's a grasshopper. No! Uh Uh, no. <laughs> Bless 
excuse me. Learn who you are. Do you not have memories of you? Oh, so you're like, um, what's her face from Rave Master? So you've been alone ever since. Her laugh was so cute. I just can't believe that's her say you because that doesn't sound anything close to her. <laughs> it's mainly because what I'm thinking of her is she's a cat girl in one series. And then it's the same thing with Alice, because Alice don't sound like what's-her-face, and you're like, how? Hmm? Eh? Yeah. Really, idiots? This one would be sleep. <laughs> uh, she relatable as fuck. <laughs> Like what, six? Hmm? Six, really, I don't think anybody has time to fall in love with you. Well, you know, six, maybe you're just not supposed to be lucky in that department. Huh? <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Plus, still, you, you look like a kid, baby. Snow, how you doing? Snow comes at like the wrong moment. I mean, she's like Claire from um <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, that one series. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but I did a reaction on it. She'd be so fucking chill, Six.
Um. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to keep that dirty mind to myself. <laughs> I mean, it would have been funny if Six said something, but like, you know, that looks like a, but no. <laughs> uh, no, that's just me and my dirty mind. <laughs> That's it? Mm, I mean, you could try it, but I don't know. Okay. Because honestly, that plan is a little, it's smart, but at the same time, it's a teeny tiny bit stupid. Well, damn. Yeah, they would, you know, you think you would have helped, or maybe they would have had you do most of the work. Well, yeah, because he's the chosen one. You know, Snow, I don't really think Six is a coward. I just think he's a lazy fuckboy. Is what's your face still asleep? Because, I mean, she wasn't, like, there a second ago. Knowing her, yeah, she probably still asleep. Oh my god, please stop writing. It's like, dream! <laughs> yeah, you have a whole bunch of wet dreams, babe. I think for the entirety of the series, you probably will. <laughs> Are you about to strip naked or some shit? Yeah. What the fuck? Are you going to climb? <laughs> the snow in the background. Oh god, can you imagine climbing them stairs? Yeah, they're climbing. Oh damn! See, that's a smart idea, but everyone except Grim. Grim can't go. Yes, no, it's fine. You know, if you fall, you know, you just die. Even though I think, like, sand will be okay to fall on, but, you know, hey. Yeah. Oh, no, there's Grim. What's wrong, so? Uh, 
Uh, you're making an aqua face. Yeah, please don't. We don't need you to die. Oh my god, boy. <laughs> yeah, because he's horny. I, I get it. You know, we all like that. Guys, girls, whatever. See, for me, it's just, I need, you know, for when I'm thinking about me and some guys and shit, like, I just want your arm. Wrap your arm around me, whatever, do some shit in like, that's it. <laughs> Little angel flying away. trying to be sneaky but something tells me like they're gonna catch him <laughs> what is that crawl oh shit <laughs> he said this is Sparta <laughs> well where the hell is Grim Grim ain't get out of here Maybe Rose is carrying Grim now. Oh, there they are! <laughs> are you gonna pelt them with rocks? Excuse me. Oh. Mm. Mm. He just knocked out. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? From thong thong for Graham to boob woman to snow. Oh my god. Hmm? Money? <gasps> Money. I mean, but hold up. Does like Rose, Graham, and Alice also get an equal cut in this year? Or is that just for six? I mean, because Alice is in the in the group, so like everybody should get their cut, right? Oh. 
Oh shit. No, finish the mission. Damn, it's really been a month. Well, maybe, you know, you take the money with you, convert it back at home, and then maybe you'll have a lot more money than, you know, you normally get. Get a cut. Aww. Oh, precious baby. <laughs> oh, so everybody gets a cut. That's sweet. Because it, it was like, this is no fair. Like, honestly, no fun, nothing. If just six gets the money and everybody else doesn't. I would have been up there like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out, time out, motherfuckers. How in the fuck does he get the money and we get nothing? Now imagine if it was like... <sighs> okay, 50,000 grand. And let's say it's... Yeah, there's like, what, five, six people sold in? Six, Alice, no... No, five, okay. It's five people unless somebody mysteriously comes up and makes six. They gotta split that shit. And, and somebody's gonna be like, look, this is gonna be a lot of math that we're gonna have to do because we're gonna have to sp split this equally. Or it's going to be like, oh, a percentage. I get this amount, you get this amount. And everybody has to accept it. It's almost like whoever did the most work gets the most of the cut. And whoever got the least amount didn't do the best work out of like the five or six or whoever. But I feel like if that happened, you know somebody would have been pissed. Whether it was Grim. Like imagine if it was Snow. Snow would have been. If Snow didn't do the best work, she would have been livid in this bitch. She would have gone off of so many of you can be like, hold up, I did my shit. <laughs> Where my money at? And she probably would have went around everywhere, but like, give me my fucking money back. <laughs> I can't with myself sometimes. Mm hmm. And like I said, once the mission is over, he can come back home and he can just... Yeah, how much are y'all playing him? <laughs> huh? Bitch, I wouldn't want meat. I wouldn't want food. I want money. Like, I mean, okay... If I was six, the biggest thing I would be asking for is not only a raise. Yeah, I'd be like, okay, when I get back, whatever, wherever the fuck he's living with, number one, he needs a damn upgrade and such. Because since he's the one doing this, they picked him out of, like, they t took a dice and it rolled six. And, of course, Agent Six is going to fucking go. But, I mean, for him to do this, like, he needs to get, like, you know, benefits of this. I mean, like, to him, his biggest benefit is, like, you know, he's around to, like, a, a surrounded by a whole bunch of women. So, he's, you know, getting that fantasy that must, <laughs> most, <laughs> I can't speak, most, like, regular guys who like anime really want. It's like, if us girls, if we were sent in a mission and we were around nothing but anime guys, like, mm, that's a dream right there. But for him, I know he's still going to want something in return. They ain't paying him itch. Sending someone meat is not something. I demand M-O-N-E-Y. Money. If it's not money, you need to give me an upgrade from wherever the fuck I've been living at. So tell me, like, let's say this man is in, like, a one-bedroom apartment. This dude need a house. A house or, like, a mansion. One and two. Hell, make it a penthouse or some shit. I don't know. But because he, it, him and Alice are, like... Do, for three whole episodes, they've been doing this for a while. They need to get paid respectfully. That money, yes, he can take that back and he can buy whatever the fuck he wants with that gold. Or if they have, like, um, oh my god, I'm trying to think of, like, what other animes have done. Uh, like, 
charge it to a credit card or some shit. <laughs> because, of course, you know, he has to have a bank account in the time period that he and Alice are from and such. So then he could just convert the money and then, bam, you got it into the freaking credit card. And you can buy whatever the fuck you want and such. But it really, at the end of the day, it's up to Six. Six just wants to stay here, not only because, you know, he could live in luxury for a year. He could still do stuff on the side and then get money from that. And he still has backup money for no matter what. And he's able to pay his rent and all that other shit for shits and giggles and then yeah he'll be able to be around any fucking woman that he wants because really in a way six is not a one man kind of woman he is just like yeah i am everywhere he's a man whore and <laughs> such so he's the type of guy who is just like you know mm, all i see is sex <laughs> And, and you know what? That's fine. Because us as females, we're like that too. There are some females who do think like a guy. And that is okay. There is nothing wrong with the way a man or a woman fucking thinks and what the fuck they want to do. And it's, that's y'all decision. <laughs> but like, I mean, poor Grim. <laughs> poor everybody this week. I mean, poor Snow. Like, oh my God, poor baby. Like, she went kicked herself, worked herself to the bone against those goblins, and poor baby, she was closing feet, like, in her arms and everything, and she almost died. Thank God she didn't, though. But, <laughs> I can't with this show. I mean, there there's moments with this show where, like, the comedy, it's there, and I fucking love it, because, I mean, like, it, it is kind of super, space kind of super, in a nutshell. Then there are times where I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm, I'm like, okay. <laughs> But honestly, I still love it because I know there are a lot of people who are a little hesitant on this show. Um, I think it's mainly because, you know, okay, this is something else by the person of Kanosuba. I'll say it like this. As someone who is, like, trying not to compare this to Kanosuba, um, I'm having a really good time with this. But I will say from experience, as someone who... Uh, loved the show so so much and then a spinoff or a sequel of that certain show from the universe that they decided to, to do I think it was like probably almost 10 years later they decided to do this other show which was like a 10 12 miniseries episode and they only brought back certain characters from the original series and long story short, basically, I did not enjoy that show as much as I wanted to because I kept comparing it to the original show. No, no matter what, I was like, oh, okay, well, this is good, but it ain't, you know, this. I was like, even though you have characters from this original series, um, it's not this and it will never be this and such. And I think that's what a lot of people think um, coming into this show, that it, it, it's immediately going to be kind of Suba, but in space. So if I could say something... Um, for people who are, like, really hesitant to watch this show, or they're watching it, but they still compare it to Kanasuba, don't compare it to Kanasuba. These are still two different shows, but they're still funny, but they're going to remind you of each other a lot by the animation, the, the fucking facial expression that, uh, yes, yeah, Snow made definitely fucking looked like Aqua, um... Just <laughs> the fact is it's one guy and a couple of girls and it's like that. But I think if you instantly, continuously compare it to Kanesuba, you're not going to enjoy this show as much as you think you are. So if I was you or like anyone else, because I'm kind of doing it myself too, kind of like <laughs> turn your brain off and just don't compare it to that. And just laugh at everything, because I mean, like, like I said, this is still a good damn fucking show, and it makes me laugh. Six is fucking hilarious, even though sometimes I want to punch him in his fucking face, and I mean, because like, he got some really good little fucking arms, but you know, your, your girl, your girl. Alice is adorable, I still fucking love her. Snow is... Snow. <laughs> snow is snow, Grim is Grim, and Rose is Rose, but the fact is that that child almost ate a grasshopper in today's episode, like... No. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction. <laughs> Towards episode three of Combatants will be dispatched. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Sunday for episode four. Bye, guys.